chance to talk. And Shell says nothing, just like human. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. <laughs> Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you are back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Cool. <laughs> Romance, I see. Uh, who knows? Maybe that's what Gabe Knoll's doing. He's creating aperture science, we just don't even know it. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self test complete. <laughs> oh, good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. If you can swim, okay, it's not really, not deep enough. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Someone typed in chat. Ah, there he is. Hey, what up? Now that is right One second. Come on. Ah, there we go. There we go. It did it. As I say, hopefully it doesn't try and direct it towards me. Nice long time. Now uh, we need the we need the cube. We have to move the cube onto white platform. All right. Been a bit for most people. It's like, man, I need more games like Portal 2. Well done. They're just Valve games. <laughs> more Valve games, please. You are a horrible person. Well, thanks. That's what it says. A horrible person. <laughs> you weren't even testing for that. <laughs> Condescending nature. GLaDOS. Don't 
let that horrible person thing discourage you. <laughs> it's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Jeez. <laughs> Shake it off. All right. We need to get that cube and redirect the power. They're just two beams. Technically. Yeah, I guess that would work. All right. Let's get myself up there first. Then we need to get up there. So let's see. Blue. Yeah. That should be a little bit better. Ah, uh, we might get hit by a laser, but who knows? Alright, that's been activated. To activate. No, oh, man. No. One second, I'm missing something. Oh, 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 oh. One sec. I think all we need to do. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> Calling this fat. <laughs> Thanks, GLaDOS. Sure, I gained weight since I played the first one. <laughs> yeah, replaying these games again is a treasure. <laughs> you are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Ooh. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go over there, activate the button, get the get a cube, and then put the cube. Maybe not. Well, let's get the cube first. Oh. Alright, we got a cube. Put that there. Be on the other side. Um, hmm. Let's not move the blue one. Let's move the orange one. Okay. Get to jump over. I'll give you <laughs> I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Water <laughs> to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Waddle. Uh. We need more writing like this too, in games. Just that type of dialogue. <laughs> Who 
missed a few. The Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Oh. Time that perfectly. Got it. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So oh. you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass. By myself. Fifteen acres. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Okay. Um we didn't mean to do that right away. I need to get the orange one right there. We'll do that again. chambers so sometimes there's still trash in them standing around smelling and being useless try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you oh like that's hurt you don't have to test with the garbage it's garbage press the button ah. again. I want the ball Okay, they want me to use the cube. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, I don't remember how to. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Boom. Boom. I love that. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, man. Before, when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless, that was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Must be must be very easy to insult someone that doesn't talk. <laughs> Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noise? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Alright, we got that going up. She's still setting up the panels. Oh, did I oh. accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. 
cheeky little dude. Oh well. Being an ass. Warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I do happy to get rid of them. Companion cubes, though. You can see Wheatley kind of doing his thing. Never noticed that it was actually Wheatley kind of just. Being a nimcompoot. Alright, I kind of want to go up there, and I think you use this one to knock out that ca security camera, but we're not going to go for this. I'm not going to go for that trophy. Oh, oh yeah, we did not go high enough. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we do have to do that. Test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. <laughs> is there anything to take? <laughs> oh, I think you can take like the security camera or something. Yeah, I think you're able to do that. <laughs> Next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Mm. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. We have to break through the glass. I'll be right back. Let's see. how that's broken. Can we... No. It's not a smooth surface. Of course, that's broken. Aha! Alright. I got it.
do is in a bit. Oh yeah, here we go. A little hole there. I've been meaning to talk about this, but I'll wait until dialogue's done. <laughs> Just in case. I don't think she'll be talking yet. Alright, so, for those watching the stream live, there are two ways, two ways to do sound effects on the stream. We got the blurp thing, the blurp extension, that is for those who want to use uh, sound effects that aren't regulars and also have channel points that they want to spend. Use the channel points, doesn't cost you a dime, and you can use any sound effect you want. There you go. Easy as that. And then we have the other one, which has been on the channel for a few years now, and that is the uh, just using commands for sound effects, which you can find in the About Me section, or just kind of if you're watching on a browser, just scroll down and you'll see sound commands. And my computer turned off. I mean, not computer turned off. Uh, controller turned off randomly. Yeah. Cool. Wheelie's up there. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. Believe what happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was. <laughs> this plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. Jeez. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. <laughs> Right? Couldn't believe it either. <laughs> you seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. <laughs> I'll just lower the ceiling. All right, so we're gonna have to. Where is our destination proclamation? Oh, I think. doesn't have a cube to redirect it. I'm gonna get the cube over there. Alright, so I have a feeling I'm gonna have to jettison myself through this. In some meagerly fashion. Does it hit my head on the damn ceiling? Oh wait, yeah, shit. Um. Ah, oh, we need to get over there. Oops. We need to actually activate the cube. Redirect the 
beam. We could do that when we actually get up there, so for right now I have the portal do its thing. Look at you sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle piloting a blimp. <laughs> for this game. It just does all the perfect lines. <laughs> it's just perfect like execution, perfect dialogue. Don't even have to commentate. <laughs> game has it all. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. something up there there's some launch platform things there oh oh all right I need to assess the whole room all right there's a cube over there I think what I need to do Portal, portal. Alright, got it. Now I need to get back over there. But, hmm. Okay, cool. Didn't know if that was like acidic water. Or. Where's that? <laughs> well, I guess we need to block that out. Cool. And now we need to drop down. Then get hit by a bunch of now we need to turn that on or turn it on. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, we need to bring that with us. Oh wait. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to redirect that to bring this down with us, I think. Yeah. Need to redirect it to the root. Need to redirect it here. I'm gonna bring this with me just in case. <laughs> 